Welcome to the Corel tutorial on combining the features of PaintShop Pro's Edit Selection feature and other tools to get the perfect selection. You can replace backgrounds, isolate objects, and combine images. There are multiple selection options and multiple ways to edit selections. Your preferred methods will come from what your needs are, the layout, and the composition of your image, along with practice and trial and error. I encourage you to view other selection and transparency tutorials in the Discovery Center. Go to the tutorial page and download the written tutorial and sample images if you'd like to follow along as it has full instructions to complete this on your own. Okay, let's get started. I have two images I'll be working with, an image of a collection of hot air balloons in Turkey and a starry night sky. My plan is to replace the sky in the balloons image with the starry sky, in essence, turning the day sky into night. There are several methods to achieve this, including the magic wand and smart selection brush. Again, your methods will develop over time. The smart selection brush should work best here, so I'll choose that. I'll set the tolerance to about 15, a size in the mid 80s, and check off smart edge. It will also be a great help if you convert your materials palette to black and white grayscale. Since masks work off the basis of grayscales to produce various degrees of transparency, this move will improve accuracy and give you results you're expecting. Although you won't actually see this in the demo, black represents what's visible and white for what is invisible. Grayscale for all shades in between. I get to this mode by clicking the small black and white square here. The best way to select the sky and only the sky is to drag from here in the lower left corner Go up and around the balloon and end in the opposite corner. The size I set makes it perfect for getting around the balloon. You can see the selection created is designated by the marching ants, a popular term used to describe the moving dotted border of the selection. A quick glance in the lower right shows that it didn't select some of the faded distant mountains. Using the same tool, simply shift-click to add the small part to your selection. Okay, this actually does a pretty good selection of just the sky. I can check on this by going to Selections, Edit Selection. My selection is now shown by this reddish hue, a bit easier than seeing all the marching ants. This is one of the features to take note of as well. In here, we can actually paint in and out selection areas just using the eraser. For example, what if I want to erase one of the smaller balloons? The magic wand might also be able to take care of this, but because there are multiple colors in this item, it could easily confuse it. The eraser will work much better. I'll simply paint the balloon over to add it to the larger selection. If I right click and do this, it will do the opposite and remove parts from an existing selection. But I'll undo that. Okay, I think I'm ready to merge a new background onto this image. I'll exit the edit selection mode. Next, I need to promote the background so I can erase to the infamous checkerboard transparency. If I didn't do this, it would only get a white background and not have the ability to move it to the other image or bring an image over to here and rearrange its order. With the sky selection still highlighted, I'll hit delete and I get this, the checkerboard background meaning that this is all now transparent so I can introduce another image to show through it. I'll go to the starry sky image. Grab the hand or the pan tool, right click on the image and copy. Return to the balloons, right click and choose paste, paste as new layer. Put the stars behind the balloons in the layers palette. Hit Control D to toss away the marching ants and we're done. Now as an option, you could have also taken the balloons over to the star image. One additional step would be necessary. Since it was the sky that was selected and you'll want to grab the balloons and ground instead, you would go to Selections, Invert. This will select everything that was previously not selected. Then, as you did before, follow the copy and paste as new layer steps except do it on the balloon image and paste it into the stars image. 
If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for working with transparencies in PaintShop Pro.